This is a video for the, the Frog Toad and Peter Mulman. I was going to do this video last winter, but this thing was frozen down back behind my barn. It's my uh, brake drum forge. I made this about 30 years ago. Uh, it's just got three pieces of angle iron for legs. I welded a plate to a galvanized T and this is where the clinkers drop into then you can take this out and let all the stuff come out but to tell you the truth there's not that much that falls down in it I got this pipe coming out the side that I put a blower on to blow air into it <sighs> got some holes drilled there for the air to come up and it, it was so deep that if I wanted to get something hot, you know, and bend it rather than just heating up an end, I couldn't get it down in there. So I took one of those uh, metal cutting wheels for a circular saw and just cut down in here on two sides. I think I just took a hammer and smacked it and broke it off. But I have a, a squirrel cage blower that I put on there that I put a rheostat to so I can control the speed. So I can turn it down and just uh, keep the coals hot. And then when I want to heat something up, I just crank it up. I wish I had a bellows type affair, but I don't have that. I haven't used it that much. I've probably used it more for melting lead for casting bullets than anything just to melting the wheel weights down to clean them up but I have fooled around with it some it probably wouldn't hurt to just break this whole top rim off of it and just have the bottom part but I haven't done that that works for me I know I build it when I right after I first got married and I've been married 30 almost 32 years it'll be 32 years in August so they last a while especially even though I keep it setting back here upside down and it you can see it was sunk clear down to here in the mud and the dirt and it's still good I think I better start taking a little better care of it Thanks for watching.